Hi, welcome to a 2 zknowledgecom So today we are going to discuss about the topic anomaly detection. So anomaly detection is one of the very famous topic in data science and uh, uh, data mining uh, uh, related stuff. So uh, people used to speak a lot about anomaly detection in data science and data mining area. So first we can see what is anomaly and then how to detect it. So anomaly is all about uh, some abnormal activities happen in our day-to-day -day life is what people used to call it as an anomaly. For example, I just wanted to show you an image and you can see this image which is nothing but odd man out, right? So there was some good transaction is going on. All of, all of a sudden, there is some abnormal activity happens in the transaction. The transaction can be anything. Your money is, you are transferring your money or you are just sending some message or you are doing some, you are placing some order in online e-commerce website. So any transaction that you do. So I'm speaking about the detecting the anomaly from the data perspective okay so anomaly is an abnormal activity happens in your data so that should not impact the end user or the customers so now you have to understand so now we understood what is anomaly there is some kind of an abnormal activity happens in our data and that will result uh, results in kind of uh, giving wrong results to the customer for example i can i can tell you this as an example so i i own a company and i just wanted to uh, uh, give salary to my employees and then uh, i have some grade of employees grade level grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. So the employees who comes under grade, grade 3, they have to get 25,000 rupees in INR as their monthly salary. So all of a sudden, imagine I have a TV in front of me and then uh, I'm, I'm just monitoring all the salary graph, salary transaction as a graph. So I'm, I'm CEO of the company, so I should watch it, right? So imagine there is a there is a big screen in front of me in which I'm seeing a graph and all of a sudden grade 3 uh, salary uh, uh, credit is get started and all of a sudden um, the graph shows that each employee in grade 3 are getting 60,000, 70,000, 80,000 something like that where they are supposed to get only 25,000. So this is a this a problem happens all of a sudden there is a abnormal activity I can able to see in my graph what I'm going to I'm just trying I'm just paying to my employees more than what I'm supposed to give instead of 25,000 rupees, I'm just paying more than that. So is what that anomaly I just identified. So how this anomaly is getting cast. So that is where we have to build some kind of an intelligent model to identify the anomaly. And then it has to inform us so that we have to cure it before we finalize the result. Okay. So, or for example, you are purchasing some uh, mobile phone in an e-commerce website, but then when they deliver it to you, it, it comes as a, a refrigerator or TV. That means you all for a phone and you are getting some different product and I am the boss of the e-commerce website where I just I'm trying to understand why this particular user he ordered for a mobile phone but he is getting a refrigerator what happening that is an anomaly so anomaly causes there may be some issue that happened with the data and due to that some big problems comes into the picture the regular pattern of the transaction is getting changed is what anomaly and we have to detect it so you can ask me right so uh, just to uh, do these kind of an anomaly detection why you people are jumping into machine learning so rather than we write a shell script where i can do a if condition saying that grade 3 employees should get only 25000 not more than that yeah that you can do but the thing is, so the data world for your business is very big and you have to identify the cause of the problem for which this anomaly happened. And then you have to understand the complete pattern of all other transactions. You are not monitoring only one grade employees or you are not monitoring only one customer, right? So you have to train a uh, model by giving an input of last 10 year data or two year data of your company uh, um, salary information or whatever the company you owns. So whatever the problems that you have faced in uh, in 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 history so you have to give all that data information as an input to a machine learning you train the model and then the model just allow the model to learn and then model will come with some kind of an intelligence in which it will deduct the anomaly and then it will inform you and you can ask me so these kind of anomaly happens very frequently in in real time so i can tell you which is very rare so big companies the products what what uh, the transactions what you do the anomaly detections are very rare so uh, but but still when the anomaly happens it's a big problem for the business for the big corporates right so anomaly detection is very important and then you have to build it in with data mining and data science not just by writing an if loop in shell script or python so going forward maybe you will be knowing it when you know what exactly the the anomaly how how this will impact the business when you come to know that point you will understand what i'm saying is 
Correct. So uh, this video is just to give you a theoretical explanation of what is anomaly detection. And in an upcoming video, I'm going to give you a, a code, a sample in Python or some other programming language with some kind of a very beginning level of data science program in Python to understand this anomaly uh, detection in practical. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com. So we provide videos in two languages, English and Tamil. We have a lot of tech videos. You can just go to my channel and you can see. And I, I have given my LinkedIn profile and then Instagram link in our description box. You can just follow us on Instagram for more updates on workshops and other videos. Uh, and then you can follow us in my LinkedIn profile as well. So thanks for watching a2zknowledge.com.